everything. Uh, he is the former Raven running back seen punching his wife, then girlfriend, his fiance actually, in the elevator at Atlantic City Casino. Uh, well, now the NFL has to reassess its domestic violence policy as well as the punishments doled out. So here to discuss the legal impact of the Ray Rice saga. Going forward, Fox 46 legal analysts, Corey Rosenstiel and Matt Fleischman, thank you gentlemen for joining us. My pleasure. As this is, I mean, it's taken over everything. You guys have seen the tape. Uh, you know, what was the initial reaction when, when you saw that? And, and certainly big picture what the NFL has to deal with now. Well, so big picture, the NFL has, has obviously a PR problem, but legally they have a favorable tax status under the you know, uh, federal government rules. Sure. You also have issues of a lot of subsidies going to the NFL, uh, tax subsidies, et cetera. So the federal government is looking into this favorable status and could cost the NFL billions of dollars going forward. As for Ray Rice, uh, you know, he got this two-game suspension initially, and then the NFL says now it's an indefinite suspension. Does he have a case, should, you know, could he sue the NFL for all this, saying, hey, initially he gave me a two-game suspension, and apparently he told the Ravens about the tape. They, and maybe they hadn't seen it, but he said, this is what the tape is, I punched my fiance, and now he's got an indefinite suspension. Is there a legal case here for him? Well, I think there probably is. There's the, the situation for him is that he may have relied upon the uh, the decision that they made. Uh, at, frankly, what came out that we didn't already know about? And, mm -hmm. and I think that you hit on that point. He's got a, a tape. He told them what happened. What came out in that tape that the NFL didn't already know about when they they handed down the suspension the first time? So that's that's an interesting part of this. And, and let's tie it into the Panthers because there obviously is a domestic situation here with Greg Hardy. Uh, last night, Jerry Richardson uh, got very emotional during his speech uh, talking about domestic violence. Uh, what do we know about the Hardy situation? I think obviously the big difference, there's no tape. That's right. And in this case, it's still more of a he said, she said mm -hmm. type of a situation. Uh, they've already gone through a hearing in district court in North Carolina. What's going to happen next is he, uh, he was found guilty by a judge, but he has an automatic right to a jury trial, and he's taking advantage of that. The jury's going to hear this case, and we think that's going to happen in November. Some folks are saying Hardy shouldn't be on the field. Uh, I mean, wh wh what do you say uh, from a legal standpoint? Obviously, nothing's been proven. As you say, he said, she said, but there are going to be some folks who say, hey, they don't want this lingering over the team. But then again, Greg Hardy is contributing to the team. He's a big part of, of the defense. Uh, so, so, you know, it, there's a lot of things in play here for the Panthers to deal with. And I think we saw that last night with, with uh, Jerry Richardson and his emotion. Well, it, you know, you, you're looking at it from two different perspectives. One, if you're the owner of the team, mm -hmm. and one, if you're a player of the team. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're a player of the team, you have to be somewhat confused as to what the, you know, what the standard is. If, it, if it's a two-game suspension, if you are convicted of something like this, is it a six-game or is it indefinite? The, the, the line keeps being moved, and my guess is there's a, lot of, there's a lack of confidence now with, uh, with Roger Goodell. Uh, which is yet to play out. And Goodell uh, initially saying the NFL had knew nothing about this tape. Now the AP reporting we sent that tape uh, to the NFL back in April. Is, is there any legal ramification there? Uh, obviously Goodell is going to be in big time trouble if it comes out that they did know about this tape. Someone did watch it. Well, and that might be part of what uh, what Ray Rice. Uh, uh, leads into with his lawsuit, mm -hmm. but I think you're hitting upon the political issues that are there for Roger Goodell, which are probably the bigger issues for the NFL right now. Certainly. Corey Rosenstiel, Matt Fleischman, appreciate it. Thank you, gentlemen. Good discussion this morning. Uh, let's uh, talk about what's coming up here on Good Day Carolinas on this Thursday. Chef 